Let's go over Star Wars The Last Jedi when it comes to an original concept between Luke Skywalker and Kylo Ren. This is Mike Zero here once again. If you guys are new here to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, The Last Jedi will be heading over to Blu-ray on March 27th of this year, giving us access to over 20 minutes worth of deleted scenes, some of which sadly will remain over in studio by Disney and Lucasfilm. However, you guys may be aware that Ryan Johnson, the director and writer of The Last Jedi, has been explaining a lot of scenes, deleted scenes, original concepts and ideas, etc., one of which had to do with both Kylo Ren and Luke Skywalker. Now, originally, Luke Skywalker was supposed to exit the abandoned Rebellion base onto the mainland of the planet Crate, where Kylo Ren would already be there with his ignited lightsaber. There would be no ATM-6 Walker action shooting down upon Luke Skywalker, because in this concept, Luke Skywalker was physically there, and we would actually have lightsabers clashing against each other, between both uncle and nephew, which is sad that we didn't get to see that in the ending scene of The Last Jedi in the final cut because it did indeed break tradition. So when it comes to The Last Jedi, one of the big things by director Ron Johnson, and we were actually told this, remember, not too long ago, a couple of months ago, that Ryan Johnson would essentially be breaking a lot of rules when it comes to Star Wars, one of which had to do with lightsabers not clashing in an epic duel between two characters. Originally, though, there was going to be a major battle between both Luke and, Luke and Kylo Ren on the planet Crate, where two lightsabers would indeed clash and Luke would physically be there. However, this concept was ultimately scrapped after Ryan Johnson, the director and writer, realized just shortly after that his X-Wing was left on the planet Ahch 2, so how else would Luke Skywalker have escaped the planet, and exactly what could he do to make that all the more believable while Luke Skywalker is there, but he's not really there? This is where the whole entire force projection technique came into play, which is actually called the doppelganger technique. If you guys read this book called The Jedi Path, that is the exact legend book that Ron Johnson cherry-picked this technique from. So it's called Doppelganger, and essentially Luke Skywalker uses this, and that's why in the final cut of the movie we don't get those lightsabers clashing in a traditional way like we saw in all of the other Star Wars movies, such as episodes 1 through 7. So with that being said, if it weren't for his X-Wing being crashed on the planet Ahch 2, it really does make one wonder exactly what the ultimate decision would have been for the final cut of the movie when it comes to Luke Skywalker going up against Kylo Ren. And I know guys, I really would have loved to see both uncle and nephew clashing saber to saber. Now, if you really do piece all of the clips together, if you watch the movie and really cut out all the in-betweeners, the whole entire battle between the two are essentially, it's very, very short if you really look at it like that. It's under a minute in length when you have both Luke going up against Kylo Ren. So it's what's actually being put in between that lengthens the whole thing with the whole resistance trying to escape the old resistance base or the old rebellion base, I should say. But overall, guys, let me know what you think about this. Would you have rathered the original concept of Luke Skywalker going up against Kylo Ren? clashing saber to saber or are you guys already happy with what we have in the final cut of the movie if you ask me i personally would have really loved to see this on screen to see uncle and nephew really dueling it out like how we saw in revenge of the sith between both Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan. Something epic and lengthy to that degree. So guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.